What's going on guys, welcome back to a new video. Today for the first time in a very long time we have a mail day video. Tons of stuff in this one, one of the biggest ones to date. If you guys like these you want to see more going forward, then like and subscribe. It's free to you guys, helps us do all the giveaways, content, with cards, fun things in general on this channel. And also you can get a membership, links down below, get some bonus content. So here's what we got in this mail day. It's been a very long time, so we have like 25k in pickups here over the past few several months. So got some new repacks, break results. Some graded cards that came in, uh, what else? Stuff I traded for, bought, things like that. So here we go. I will move these to the side and try to be careful because we have many, 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 many cards. So I'm going to start here. Recently, we had Cade Cunningham on the channel. It was awesome. And here is the cards for those who haven't seen it. And I didn't show a close-up look. Some of the stuff you might have seen maybe on Instagram or maybe a little teaser. And I want to show a closer look. That's what we do in mail days. Show cards, what I've picked up, and chat about various stuff in the hobby. So here's the autograph he pulled of himself. If you haven't seen those videos, definitely check them out. Spoilers, of course, this being one of them. But he pulled this autograph of himself. Absolutely crazy. Ripped a bunch of prism, and the hope was he'd pull his own card. Now, I pulled his base, and I was hoping he would pull it. But he pulled the autograph, which is absolutely awesome. This is not the coolest one. This back one here, I think, is by far the coolest one. So there you go. That is the auto he pulled. And here is one he signed. And the black Sharpie is not the best pen to use to get signed. But that's all I had on me. And still, this uh, lighting doesn't do it justice. It pops a little better when it's not in the sleeve as well. But got the uh, nice auto, number two. And here's the one I'm in love with. I absolutely love this card, so little story with it. Because we have so many cards, I won't go too deep into all the stories like I usually try to do, but this one I will tell. So this is the big one, and it's this one right here. So yeah, this is these are mail days. This is so much fun. I love showing you guys what I've been picking up, what we've done recently, and because in the video kind of just showed it real quick, this is a better look at the card. This is the Wade Wunningham, one of one. He signed that right there. So Man, man, oh man, I love this card. Here's how this happened. So you saw some of it in the video. That was a long experience, just kind of condensed into a little montage. But I told him, hey, on the channel, I've always called you Wade Wunningham. What do you think about the nickname? He said it was cool with him. And then I asked, would you sign one as Wade Wunningham? He said, yes. So he signed it, Wade Wunningham. I got him to put the one of one. Then later on, on Instagram, I posted, and there's Instagram back there, Pac-Man Cards. I posted a picture of the jersey, my personal one, that uh, he signed. And I asked if he could put the Wade Wunningham again. And he said he wanted to keep it a one of one, which was really surprising to me because that means, A, he knows the value of the one of ones, and that he remembered that I had him do that. So he's like, no, the last one was the one of one, so he can't be two. And to that, I said, great point, and I had nothing else to say. So that was super awesome to hear from him, and he's just the man, super chill guy, signed this one, and this is the only one. He said he won't sign another one, so... That is absolutely amazing, and uh, yeah, love this card. One of the crown jewels of my collection. Wade Wunningham, woo, on his prison rookie. I like that, so put that to the side, and let's start here. So this is a massive card. Might be the biggest one in this mail day, but there you go. Sick Paulo, and yeah, you guys like these mail days? Once again, you want to see more stuff like this, just like and sub, and I'll uh, try to do some more, picking up cards, showing you what I bought, traded for, and repacks, things like that. So this is Apollo. I pulled this on the Breaks channel. If you're following on Instagram, then you've seen this one already. Or on Pac-Man Breaks, our other channel, link down below, then you've seen it already. But 103 pulled this, crown first off the line, first team all juicy, maybe the captain, and uh, bought this off the person he pulled it for. So everyone who made a deal, sent stuff in, something like that, appreciate it as always. Don't know who wants and doesn't want to be mentioned. So thank you as always. And uh, love this card, swoosh. Ooh, pulled it myself and bought it off the guy who uh, was pulled for. So nice Paolo and yeah, sick card. So there we go. Next one up. This is from my LCS I bought it from. And all right, so there's no logos. It is a uh, collegiate, but I'm a sucker for the Bowman first. So I got this one, Bryce Young. And yeah, it's a very cool card. So this year's Bowman, this is the first one they dropped for, uh, I guess, the Bowman U. They didn't have the logos yet, now they do. But the first Bowman, his autographs are going to be with Fanatics and Tops. So I don't know how it's going to be. They won't have the licenses at least for a year or two or something like that. 
barring a big change. So I don't know how it's going to look in the future, but this is his first Bowman and they're going to have the licenses. So 24, 25, Bryce Young. I like the card a lot. Very happy to have it. And that was one I got from my LCS. Saw it in the uh, display case and decided to make a deal for that one. Here's another one. So this is uh, one that is, well, first of all, it's a five. And um, yeah, that's the big elephant in the room. I think it's super cool though. I mean, first home run, base from the game on card auto of Vladdy. I love Vladdy a lot because Miss Pack and myself, we opened a lot in this year trying to pull Vladdy. So have a lot of fun memories chasing Vladdy with her and I still collect Vladdy. And uh, when she rips with me, she also looks for Vladdy. So got this one, very cool. Got the base, I love that. Absolutely love that. What do you guys think about that card? Kind of a tops now, panini instant. Some people love them, some people hate them. I personally love them. Here's a blue Jaren. All this time, I have not had a blue. I have every other parallel for the most part. Still no gold, that's the uh, grail one for me, but haven't been able to find it. Got a blue finally, very happy to have this one. And um, yeah, blue Jaren, there's not much more to say, but cool card. Finally got the blue Jaren. Next card up, trying to go as fast as possible. And so, yeah, if I've shown anything in Instagram before or something like that, then you saw it early, but this is the mail day where I officially show it in a video. So each platform has their own perks. Instagram gets tons of exclusive stuff that YouTube does not. Same with YouTube, the other way around. Each platform has their own benefits. So um, like whether it's a giveaway on another platform, like whatnot, for example, we do our giveaways there. We do, you know, reels and stuff like that on IG. But some of these I show, uh, this is a Burrow Orange. And I got this one off of a whatnot auction, I think I yeah, I think I did. And um, I mean, color match, right? So absolutely love that. And it is uh, to 249. Very nice. Orange. In basketball, it's to 49. Football, 249. Yeah, here's a little run of baseball. Got some Vladdy. Got some Dominguez. Got some Judge. I'm a Yankees fan. And once again, Miss Pack. And myself, we're chasing Vladdy. And so I still love me some Vladdy. Got a. A Sapphire and a Blue Dominguez. Got this one first. Bought this on Whatnot. And then I saw this one, which in hindsight, I didn't need both. But I really wanted the true blue and went with this one as well. So got this one first, then this one. And actually, you know what? In hindsight, I again didn't need both, but I got this one first. Yeah, so Sapphires came first. But I really wanted the true blues, and now I have the true blues. Now I have both. So uh, here's the Vladdy Orange. Orange is the kind of like the 25, the one of the rare parallels in top stuff. So the Vladdy, there you go. That'll be the parallel to chase once Tops and Fanatics have all the sets. A little more baseball real quick. Garrett Cole. Love Heritage. Love the real one autos. Garrett Cole, I believe it's his first kind of Yankees Heritage card like this. Um... 71 the reds are awesome love this one when i pulled the soto super Fractor, i sold it so that i could buy the judge real one and other things because i was in college and i needed the money badly so that's why i sold that card no regrets worth more now but no regrets because i needed that money so badly the josh allen regrets because i didn't even get any money that helped at the time so here's the next one got this on whatnot as well and with it I got a basketball that was signed by Anthony Edwards for being the kind of top purchaser. So I don't have a picture of that. I'll probably have a big memorabilia haul at some point because I got some sick stuff. Like all time, in my opinion, sick stuff. Just end game level. Deserves its own video stuff. So yeah, and some more stuff coming soon. So didn't want to put it in here because I need a lot more space to show those things. But Burrow bought this. Very nice. Mr. Joe Burrow. I actually had this one already. But I thought it was a fair deal at all Burrow. And um, yeah, so now I got it. And on card, contenders, can't go wrong. More LCS action. Got some Mikhail Bridges. I don't think I pulled much of him from 1819. I opened a lot during 1819 and didn't pull many top guys. No Luca, really. A little bit of Trey. A lot of Aiton and Bagley. So yeah. But Mikhail Bridges, very good. This is... Uh, Contenders Optic uh, 49 is number two. Good looking card. Very good player. More baseball, real quick. A little Adley to 2023 gold. And then 
Here is a sick card. McCaffrey, two of two, on card. This is honors. Mahomes is also this rookie year, and he has some like this as well. So imagine this, Mahomes, and it's whatever's number two, one of one, 10 of 10, something like that. But Prism is sticker autographs, which really stinks because we don't want sticker autographs. And only in honors can you get those on-card Prism autographs. So that's why I love these. And it's still the rookie card. So I like it. Two of two. McCaffrey, one of my faves. Love this card so much. My LTS had it. I bought it. And yeah, the rest is history. Next one up is Halliburton, 249. Let me get that in better focus. There we go. A little out of focus. My apologies. Kings, got a nice... We'll sort my patches there. Obviously a pacer now to 49. Got a sick autograph at a boy. And yeah, there you are. Cool card from Absolute. So I think that might be nameplate, which is pretty cool. Maybe that's number patch. Not sure. Logo. But yeah. Like Hallie a lot and saw his card there. Had to have it. Here's a card. Speaking of had to have. Ray Allen. Photogenic. Ooh. Man. They are up to something at all times. 9 out of 10. So the ice will be to 10 if it's not a base, I believe, for the most part. So the base is 75, but the inserts are to 10 and maybe some other set. But this is one of them, the shot. I remember him hitting that. It's late enough, and I'm running around going crazy when he hits that. That was, man, huge. So... 9 of 10, Ray Allen, photogenic. That is photogenic. That is the set right here. So, ooh, I can look at that all day. That is true beauty at its finest. Hmm, photogenic. All right, Zaire. I mean, here, hold on. <laughs> Zaire, there you go. Kaido, one of one. Right there. The... Only one of ones are these, and if their jersey number is one, they'll have an autograph in Chinese New Year Revolution, and then up until now, I believe there was the hollow gold in the Asia T-Mall, which is incredible. So, one of one autos, this is kind of, sorry, one of the ones you want from Rebo, and I love Rebo, so Zaire, here you go. I like this card, and I don't think I've ever owned uh, the auto version of one of these before, so very happy to have it, and Zaire 1 of 1. Now for these last two. So nice, I got it, kinda, twice. Gold Prism, Gold Optic, Bane, and Bane. In some recent streams, I think I mentioned uh, I bought some stuff, which is why I was selling some stuff. We had some auctions and whatnot, and I was selling a bunch of stuff. I mentioned I was buying a lot of Banes. These would be two of them. I just need, uh, let's see, the green for this one. And maybe a couple others, but I had the one of one, so I'm going for the rainbow now. So there you go. Both the 10, Prism, Optic. I like this one more because on card, this is a sticker, Prism stickers. Hmm, not feeling it. But still, good one. I had the mojo. So now I just need the uh the black one of one, right? Not too hard. There we go. And continue on with the rest of these. I'm gonna put these guys uh, to the side. I have a big stack of cards next to me. Let's uh hit these guys real quick. My UFC guys, this will be fast. I love UFC, huge fan of it. And uh, got these from my LCS, these pink packs. Just wanna show these really fast. There we go. And one, here's two, there we go. And then here is three, which is top loaded. There we go, got one. Some nice stuff, two and three. So these aren't anything too crazy, but they're nice. See, the pink ice is hurt by the megas, where they're so common that people don't care for the parallel too much, but it's nice. Here is the nice UFC card. Ooh, Pavlovich. And this is his first prism card. Octagon, a little off-centered. Well, 51-49, but it's to eight. I love this parallel, very creative. Because basketball doesn't have some cool basketball parallel. At least not in Prism. And um, here's is football. But this octagon, that works. That's what I like to see. Had to have this card. And uh, 
he is a monster. So, one of eight. Got this card. Probably my favorite UFC card. I have the Oliveira as well, but this one's the one. So, there we go. Back to some other stuff. So, um, some of these have been shown. This on Instagram, for example. If you're on IG, you've seen this one already. So, you can drop a follow right there. Pac-Man cards. And did uh, some grading with Arena Club, as always. We're closely with them, personally. I believe that the grading that they offer, which is transparent with a grading report, is something we needed for a long time. So you know why your card got a grade, but I want to continue, of course, with the uh, reveal here. Pretty much, these are some of the cards I had uh, sent back recently to put in the background of videos. You might have seen them there or on Instagram, but got this one. Love Marshawn Lynch. Beast Mode. One of my favorite players growing up and still. So love this one so much. Saw it available on the platform and traded for it. Made a deal. Thank you very much. So there we go. Then I sent this in. Bought it originally. Got a 10. And just wanted to uh, send a few back. Have in hand. Like this lab. So Garland. 9.5 Sparkle. AD, one of my favorite players. This one got a 9. And um, honestly, for these cards, I'll take a 9. So. Well, uh, Junior. 8. You know. He's a beast. One off from jersey number. What else is new? All rise. Judge. 10. Little B to the I. 8.5. You know, once again, I'll take that. These cards, always in the bad condition. I will take that. Maxi to 4. Crown. So this product is so good. And Maxi is uh, also very good. A little baseball. Logan. It is uh, to 50. I think I pulled him and looks solid. Then got suspended. And I was like, ah, oh, great. But he was a good pitcher. Here's one that you might have seen on Instagram, but I definitely haven't shown here. Herbert to 10. And I traded for this one a long time ago. Closer to the launch of the platform. Now Arena Club's you know been out for a little longer now. But uh this is one of my first kind of deals I did on there. So Herbert to 10. And then perfect Trevor Lawrence also showed this on IG. So a good amount of them have been shown before. But this is the first reveal, I guess, in video. I kind of popped some of these in the back. But if you've seen them twice, I apologize. IG and then background of videos, some of these. I don't know where I've showed all of them, but somewhere. So there we go. What do you guys think about the grades and Arena in general? Definitely check them out. Okay. Before we get to the repacks, some higher end uh, repacks here. We have some breaks. Some breaks. Join these on whatnot. And I had the Thunder. Now, Optic, I think this is first off the line, is first team all juicy. Very good. So they have a million rookies. Who did I get? Oh, oh. Chet. Green. Rookie. Success. I think this break, every single team. It was unheard of. Everyone was eating. I've never seen a haul quite like this. Well, actually, I have because we opened several cases of this stuff on Pac-Man Breaks. And it was amazing. So when I joined a break, I mean, raining big hits. Raining. Every, every team, seriously. It was just hit after hit after hit. And I think I joined that like 5 in the morning. And that chat was hyped. So here's that little bit of prism. Now, Prism, I can't say the same. I mean, come on. Come on, Prism. Optic literally just destroyed them. So, good job, Optic. I don't know if I've showed this at all before, but open some more Optic. So, Super Optic Pump. I've always been a big fan of Optic, but this is just the truth here. I mean, it's been great this year. Pulled a Curry Autograph, which... 225... Did see that coming? I'll definitely take it. Put that uh, here. Now I open some prism first off the line. Here's what I got. So just the highlights, but Pierce orange to 249, right? Yep. Got to five, Mitchie. And then Josh Allen, I pull Josh Allen all the time from prism. I think this is my second blue shimmer Allen I pulled and then the gold. Rip the gold. <sighs> yeah. 
So if I ever open, you know what? I pulled two shimmers now. Is that a sign I need to go back to 18 and open prism first off the line? If I'm going to get another gold, I'm going to do it. But I don't think so. Although Alan flies out of prison for me. So never know. Here's uh, something from IG as well. Old James Worthy from uh, a hit draft break of Flawless I joined. Nice Worthy on card. Good auto. 25. Yeah. Flawless. Unfortunately, uh, no mega triple logo man, but still nice. Let's see. What are these? So this is someone uh, sent in very special cards. Very special cards. We have some Bowman U first. So now it has the logos, as you can see. And they sent me Evan Neal. Evan Neal. Go, G-Man. Go, O-Line. I need him to be great. Andrew Thomas is my favorite player in football. If he's a stud, I got my two favorites. So, actually, two of my four favorites. Bosa, Mac will always be on that list as well for me. But as far as my team, I mean, to have good offensive line play, it just means a lot. It means a lot because I know what it's like to not have it, even now still. So seeing Andrew Thomas all pro, it was it's special. Really special to me. Here is a... Uh, oh, wow. Nice. Thanks, Tops. Little bonus top loader. I actually do like that. Nice. Freebie. Uh, here's a redemption I pulled from Top Chrome. Came in pretty quickly, actually. So, nice. Here we go. Well, actually... I waited a while to put it in the system. I just forgot. But when I put it in, like, two weeks later, I got it, which is nice. So, thank you. Put that to the side. Continue on. And here's three random pickups. Got a little Macklemore to... Actually, these are white sparkles, so, like, 20-ish. Johnny Football. The boombox openings are about to be crazy. And then, Cam Reddish. Yeah! I think I won the little player of the day thing, and, uh, Cam Reddish. Whenever you win these... The auto and display is always the most random autograph. I think it was like Kevin Knox, but two years after he was a rookie one year, and then there's Cam Reddish this year. I don't know. Hey, I'll take it. I like Cam. That's as good an auto as you're going to see from him, so I will take it. Okay. And that concludes the singles. Time for some repacks to end our mail day. I'm going to move these cards a little bit to the side because they're going to fall if I don't. And... There we go. All right. That should be a little better and not fall. Okay. So let's start with this box here. Hitbox. Sports cards. I have a little kind of cheat sheet or info sheet, whatever you want to call it, to my side. I'm going to read this out first. Let me see if there's anything there. Packed right there. So let's see what this is all about. Links down below in the description as well. So here we go. This is where we're looking at the price for these and these are the all-star with the higher tiers and let's say price range this is canadian initially but us dollars about a little i'd say like a little under three to high 200 dollars range somewhere around there so here are the main points what they stress is good value transparency and integrity love to hear that of course so they have multiple sports different tiers for all of them you can check out their site and i'll link that once again down below a bunch of different hitbox is what they're called and then the price, once again, is Canadian. You can see it in U.S. as well. Uh, multiple tiers. So they never include retail packs in the Veteran or All-Star. This is All-Star. You'll get at least one hobby supply with all of them, as well as your packs, of course. And you can see the packs on their site. And also, these All-Star boxes will have a guaranteed hit. So about $15 or more. So even if you don't hit anything, hopefully that hit could be something. And um, yeah, a little random card of some sort of value. So the last point would be then the packs themselves. They say they never weigh, select, alter, cherry pick, or otherwise kind of, you know, do anything with the packs. Pretty much the integrity side, you're getting packs from sealed boxes and cases. And uh, once they crack the seal in a box, they say every pack will go into someone's hit box. So they want everyone, of course, to find those hits who are the customers. They have a code for us. So they actually sent this into review. So appreciate that for them. Want to make sure I mention that. And uh, Pac-Man 15 will get you 15% off the first box you buy. And um, they also have a giveaway for a hobby box as well for subscribers. So definitely uh, check them out. That is the little info blurb. And there we go. So let's see uh, the packs we have here. And you know what? Is this the... Oh, okay. I'm about to say. I'm looking to the side. Like the boom box has that little um, slip. 
If I could have read off there the whole time, that would have been a little easier. Here's everything we got, and we have a 130.1 touch. So I've opened many products like this over the years. Something I used to do all the time in the channel. One of my favorite things to do. And there used to be tons of companies who made these. Not as many anymore, I feel like. Well, maybe there are more, but there used to be like three, four core ones that we always try. And this is an entire pack of fix sleeves. I like that. That's the way it used to be. You used to get tons of supplies. So here are the packs we have. Got some Donruss H2. Haven't tried that yet. Classics. Let's say which one. Classics. This looks like a hobby, I think. And then uh, this is Contenders. Got some Phoenix, Illusions, Rookie and Stars, and Prism. So uh, let's just go in the order they gave it. First to see the hit. We also have a basketball one right here. So comment your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about the product? Do you like it, not like it? What would you change? What would you keep the same? And we are going to check out a repack. The mail days of old had, I mean like 10 sometimes, not 10, but so many I feel like repacks in every single video. So let's see our hit. Can makers, sweet. Little rookie uh, prism model. There you go, nice. From uh, 2020, what a year that was. All right, Pax, what you got for us? Let's see, Mr. Allen, bust up with the good luck. Here we go. Pack number one. Don't know what the bonus is or exclusive is for H2, but we'll find out. All right, Lloyd. Pierce. Troll. Why are those backwards? <laughs> They're always backwards, but I don't know why. I definitely don't know why. Here is Classics, a set I very much like. Design is... In my opinion, one of the better ones. So, always good to see some classics. Okay, I see some chrome. I see some, I see some color. I like that. Josh Allen. Lucky Josh. Banner season. I like these. I think it's the same one, but numbered, I think it's a 20. I think. Do I know my classics well? Well, you know what? I wasn't that far off. To 15. I'll definitely take that. All right. Garrett Wilson. I will take that all day. And there we go. Sweet. Very sweet. Classics. Let them cook. They know what they're doing, classics. Never to be slept on. Oh, we have die cut. Die cut? Yeah. All right. Let's see the base. And here we go. And now it's not back. See? Hmm. I don't know why some are and some aren't backwards. Okay. A little portrait. 260. Okay. A little defensive love. To 25, is that? Antoine Winfield Jr. Cool. I never understand why these die cuts get the shape they get. But they do. And, um, yeah. I don't know. Also, it's a little crusty on there. <laughs> Something, uh, you know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Contenders time. Can we get autograph? I'm going to go with no, but I'm trying to reverse jinx it. Can I successfully do that? Nah. No reverse jinx. Here we go. Got a. Club Shay Shay. All right. Time for well Phoenix. Order the Phoenix. Mm hmm. That's interesting. Can it be good? I see a red. Okay. I see rookie. Pull from the back. AJ Brown. That looks like what Seahawks maybe Bears. Rookie rising, K9 to 249. 199. Close. I tried. A for trying. Okay. Time for uh, illusions. These have a lot of hits, so who knows? Who, who knows? 
Hmm. Okay. Jameson. Ritter. Missed a hit here or? Garrett Wilson to 199. And Zach Wilson to 199. You know what? It's okay we didn't get a hit because it's like 50% for a hit in those. And I always get, it's always like a relic, but a hit. So at some point, I need to not get a hit. And that was today. So it's uh, all fair in the end. Let's see what's in Rookie and Stars. Got Mixon. Oh. Oh, oh, hello. I might have just gassed that up a little bit. It is thick, but I think I gave a little, little gas up because it felt super thick, but I think it's like a chrome card or a bent card. Something like that is making it feel thicker. All right. I think it's horizontal. Malik Willis would be nice. It'd be nice. Uh, an autograph. Now, is the timing for Malik the best? It is not. Uh, do I still like Malik? I do. Just as a person and being a fan. To 99, I will absolutely take that. Yeah, it's not looking too great for him. Saw a report that actually... I've seen a good report and a bad report. So I really don't know. And it's not cut. This is not cut. So let me cut this right now. Never want to put a thick sleeve in... Or a thick card in a sleeve without cutting it. There you go. So I like that card. There is him. There's Levis. I really don't know who's the guy there, but I'm rooting for him. And that's a nice card. Then we have a pink T Law too. Hmm. Maybe 25? 70. 75 to 75. Cha ching. Sandy ovation. Thank you. All right. Well, T Law. Well, eBay one of one. That's always a dub. All right. Prism. What you got for us? So far, so good. Come on, Prism. I see green. I see green. Here's the base. All right. Got a little Drake London. And Bell. I pull him a lot. Jameson. I pull him a lot too, actually. Come on, rookie. Dolphins. Hmm. Hmm. Mustard. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, three off. Overall, I would consider that a success. Link down below if you want to try it for yourself. And now we'll try the basketball version. I'm just going to leave these out like this because we'll keep them in the same pile. I'll sort them after. And yeah. So here we go. This is same information, the basketball version. And uh, let's see what we got. Football was very nice. There we go. I think we have the sleeve pack again, which is nice. See a one touch. Take this out. 130. I like that. Thick. I like that. And packs. I always like that. Okay. There we go. Let's see what we have for a guaranteed hit first. Sorry, football cards. We got our mailer. Can I get this open? I can. Easily. Medium. All right. What says this? It looks like maybe illusions or maybe... I have no clue. So bonus. Okay, it's definitely not illusions. Uh, hmm. Is that a rookie jersey? Yeah. Of oh, Sabonis. I like that. It's a 99. I like that. Player worn. Long ago. Player worn. I like that hit. Very nice. Here are the packs. A little something something. Revo. A lot of the older kind of sub boxes used to have those. Uh, that is Hobby. Got Hobby. Elite, uh, Hobby, and Hobby, and Fast Break, yes, uh, Origins H2, yeah, it's H2 because other pack doesn't look like that, Illusions, 
Asia, Mosaic, Fast Break, and Prism Hobby. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Revels up first. I like this set a lot. Can it be good? Can it be great? Can it be great? Let's find out. Try for greatness. I don't know. That's just saying. I was saying that like LeBron says it. I did not see the LeBron. There's no way because that wasn't the back card. So I have faith in this pull now. Okay. Wow. Now, is it a rookie? That's the big question. Okay. Oh, it's George Paul. You know what? Hey, I'll take that. Whoa. George Paul, Super eBay 1 of 1. Wow. You get a sleeve. That is a lucky card if I've ever seen one. I'm putting him right here. If we have a redemption or something with that, calling him in. I mean, seriously. That was a magic pack. Okay. Wowzers. Garland. There we go. A little acetate action. Got a little mosaic hobby. Back to back. Which is... Nice, because better chance that that maybe like one or two cards per box that is notable. A lot of them are not notable. Okay, well, Primo and Greg Brown. Okay, and uh, yeah, so been a while since we had a mail day. We had something similar, a massive Panini customer service haul. Those are two cards from it, but not the biggest ones. If you want to check that out, recent video on the channel. Huge haul of cards from Panini Customer Service. And there we go. All right, next one up. Let's see if we can get something numbered. Not counting on it, but you never know. Not holding my breath. That'd be a full move. Uh, they mix it all in, making it hard for us here. And got a cat. Conley, Ooh. Giddy, I'm just going to say it, Mosaic can really stink, that's it, <laughs> it can really stink, I mean seriously, that's Mosaic for you, they give you like 20 parallels, but they're all these ones, and those are, I mean, not good, Mosaic can be rough, first off the line is different, guaranteed two super short prints, the hobby version, and we had Obviously, chances. That's all you can ask for. But, man, they make it hard sometimes. All right, let's see. Beef stew. What's... Uh, is this a rookie? No, I don't think so. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Omelo. Even though this is a rookie year, actually. Miles Bridges. To uh, 95. Okay. Time for this one. Very excited for this one. Origins H2. Uh, let's see. There are autographs. Exclusive inserts. Hmm. All right. I'm ready to see what they have in store. Not one I've tried before. Origins H2. Got a whole Dyson Daniels. Got a glossy. I know I've said this before, but not feeling the glossy. Jimmy Butler. I have no clue what you get in here. So we're going to find out right now. Cole Anthony. Ben, ben Simmons. Speaking of uh, Kate Cunningham, the video with him was funny. When we hit the Ben Simmons and the uh, the Primo. Okay. It's a funny guy. And Euphoria. And Diabate. Ooh. There you go, Jalen Brown. I don't think that's super rare. In the grand scheme of things, everything from Origins is tougher to get because only like five cards. But I don't think that's one of them. I think there's... Big bang and like snake eyes and tiger eyes. Maybe one more. That's very good insert heavy. And this is something I also haven't tried before. So let's see. Trying new stuff. Look at me. As a bookie. Ooh. KJ. And oh wait, wait. There you go. Little father and son. Cool. That's pretty cool. I want to see more cards like this. Nice. Very nice. Good creativity. 
Real Deal Bill. And this is maybe numbered? Uh, no, I was wrong. Is that it? All right, that's it. There you go. Time for Mosaic Fast Break. Is this? I think it is. Uh, yes. Okay. Sometimes I'm not very nice to Fast Break, but recently it's been good enough that I'm wrong to hate on them. Maybe I'm right to hate on them. All right. Prism to close it off. Break the parallels. Red wave, silver. That's what I think. I see something red. It's too easy. It's too easy. I've seen this movie a thousand times. All right. Red wave. Silver. It's too easy. So hard, rookie. That's a nice one. And there we go. Prism is too predictable. I mean, come on, guys. They got to mix it up. They got to mix it up. It's getting uh, way too easy to call it. So there you go. What are your thoughts on the repacks? Links down below in the description if you want to get it for yourself. Overall, a lot of fun. I like the unique packs. Like the H2 Origins. Never tried before. So yeah, links down below if you want to try it for yourself. Thank you to them. And does it for our mail day. Empty table. Well, not empty table, but no more stuff to show. I'm going to close off on this card here because I absolutely love it. Actually, I don't know where I put it. We have too many cards on the table. So I won't close on that card. But Oh, I found it. Here are the ones we are closing on. These guys here. Uh, where are they? So, mail day, 25k in new cards. These guys. And uh, went crazy. So, don't know when the next one will be. Could be a week from now. Could be a year from now. I don't know. I'm trying to condense them into fewer. But if you want to see more mail days, let me know. Maybe I'll space it out. Or not space it out. Maybe I'll kind of do more of them instead of uh, spacing them out. That's what I meant to say. But, yeah. A lot of cool uh, pickups. Which one was your favorite one from the video? Thoughts on the repacks, thoughts on the cards I got, um, anything like that on the key video, pretty customer service, a lot of good stuff recently, and we'll have some more. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you later.